Hello and welcome to Quick Learning Up. Today we are going to discuss Kafka with Docker. In today's video, we will start Kafka locally using Docker Compose. We will create a topic and will try to consume from the topic using the Docker commands. For this course, the prerequisite is that you already have Docker installed and running on your machine. So let's quickly see how can we do it. Okay, so to do that, let's create a new file as the default naming convention so that we don't have to give the file name while starting. So we have created a docker compose YAML file and in this what we want to do is we want to okay let me first provide you with the code so i have this uh, existing docker compose file here what we are doing is we are starting the zookeeper container with this image and similarly we are starting with the kafka with the uh, this image so let's see if the latest image is available and to do, do that what we have to do is we'll go to hub.docker.com and we'll try to find the Kafka image and we know that Kafka is by Confluent so we'll try to use the official image and we'll see the latest tags available but we'll not use the latest tag because it, it always points to the latest image that they are having and it will may break our code in future so we'll try to find the latest image and then we see Okay, that 7.3.1 is published two months ago during the time of recording. So we can use this particular tag. This is for Kafka and same for Zookeeper. We can do use the same Confluent tags and try to find it. And then it will be the same 7.3.1. So let's quickly go and change those tags to the latest one. And these are the official images that we are using. So we'll start one service zookeeper and then the, the volume where we are storing. And the important part is we are saying that Kafka depends on zookeeper. So it will wait for the zookeeper to start. And another thing is Kafka will be uh, started at the port and exposed on 9092, the default ones. And the zookeeper will be running on 2181, the default ports. And here we are specifying how to connect so that will this particular kafka service will connect to zookeeper service on 2181 okay so to start that we are in the same directory where we created this docker compose uh, file now we just need to say docker compose up and we want to run this command in the detached mode so what it will do so it's it's actually pulling these images from zookeeper uh, from the uh, hub.dockerhub.com we'll wait for it to finish fast forwarded we have this uh, images downloaded and we if you see the docker compose of command logs and its a network is created as we specified and the images has been pulled from hub.dockerhub.com and we have the version that we specified finally all the both the images were installed and the container is started so this is very simple we just need to specify one simple file docker compose and then we specify two services and that pretty much it from the configuration and now let's try and see if our docker is running as expected or not so i have already have two a uh, few commands listed down so let's first try and connect to the running kafka container if it's actually running so this is to uh, start a cell shell session inside the kafka container so now we, we are actually inside the running kafka container and let's see which kafka version is actually running in the container so we are using the command kafka server start to see so this is the same version as we specified in the docker compose file 7.3.1 and let's say we want to see what all topics are available by default 
we can use the command kafka topics and specify okay this is a uh, old command we don't want to specify zookeeper let's see if you run this command this is not for the latest version so if you see this zookeeper is not a recognized option so this is valid for uh, kafka 2.3.0 and below but from 2.30 onwards we are not using the zookeeper command still we are specifying directly the bootstrap server so we don't need the particular zookeeper and the zookeeper port so let's replace it for the latest ones so now what we want to do is we want to use the same command kafka topics directly by specifying the bootstrap server that is our kafka server running on local host 9092 so we have only one topic consumer offset by default now let's try and create maybe a topic named demo test topic okay so to do that we are using the command kafka topics bootstrap server and then the important part is we are saying create topic named demo test topic with partition one and replication factor one so let's see if that's fine so let's change from demo topic to demo test topic for everywhere replace all fine now we see from the log that uh, a topic named demo test topic is created okay now what we want to verify is what are the properties with which this test topic is actually created so we can use the command describe kafka topics describe so we are using the same command just with the describe topic and the topic name so demo test topic we are saying okay now let's see what it gives us so it's saying the topic name topic id partition count replication factor and the replicas leader and other properties so this is what we are expected now what we want to do is we want to see all the available topics again so it's the same command to list out all the topics so if you see now this particular demo test topic should be listed as well along with the consumer offsets now what we want to do is we want to publish a message to this particular kafka demo test topic so to do that we are going to use kafka console producer which will actually produce a message or publish a message to this particular topic to do so we are saying publish hello world to the demo test topic so to do that this is how we are going to do now we have a published message how to verify that probably let's start a new session and again go back to the particular kafka container in a shell session now we have the shell session running and what we want to do is we want to listen to that particular topic to do that we are going to use kafka console consumer to listen to this particular topic demo test topic from the beginning we are saying now let's say if i run this command what is expected we are expecting that message whatever the message is available on the demo test topic so we see one message hello world let's say we publish another message to this topic what will happen let's say we want to publish hello world again to this particular topic okay this message should be instantly or after certain delay should be consumed so we see certain delay because the message is published as soon as the listener listens back the polling after polling interval we see that message being consumed by the kafka console consumer now this is a very simple demo how we can start 
Kafka locally using Docker command and very simple Docker compose configuration with just simple two simple services in one file. So zookeeper service and the Kafka service, which we specify depends on zookeeper with very simple configuration. And we started these two services and saw how can we create basic topic, publish to the topic and consume from the topic using default Kafka console producer and consumer. So now as we see that this consumer is keep on consuming, let's stop it. We can use control C to stop this and this will give us the process a total of two messages. Similarly here and here we in case you want to come out of this container, you can simply come out of the Kafka shell session via exit and now you are back to the your uh, directly the same here also you can come out of the shell session and you can use the exit command to come out similarly now the docker containers are already running in background so you can stop your docker containers and if you don't need the images you can also remove those kafka and zookeeper images from your machine to free up some spaces see you in the next video Thanks for your time.